Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Sagittarius September 8, 2022. You create a better environment in your daily life in the weeks ahead, and you tend to do what you can to make your tasks and chores pleasant. Cooperating with others brings work rewards. It's a valuable cycle for bringing harmony to your daily life or more enjoyment in pursuing health and wellness. It can also be a time of better relationships with healthcare, employees, or co-workers, whichever may apply. Today, you readily take the lead and prefer to get your responsibilities out of the way. It feels great to get on top of things. Sweet Venus, our planet of romance, pleasure, and love, is dancing onward into newfound fields today. This means that over the coming weeks, she will embody the vast abundance of Virgo. While you tend to be prone to wild bouts of indulgence, passion, or theatricality when it comes to love, you will now feel a bit more service-oriented regarding affection and giving your time. If single, look for someone who is a bit more grounded, practical, and open to devotion. Giving gifts to others will be especially appreciated at this point in time. Life is about to get a little sweeter. Your work life may have a newfound sparkle as the love goddess Venus enters Virgo. Although the minor benefic is considered fall in Virgo, this can still assist with your daily operations at work. Venus in Virgo can help you beautify your workspace by prioritizing the details. You may spruce up your work environment by decluttering and reorganizing your space. Small accents could even add a homey effect, like decorating with little fun but practical objects. Projects could go swimmingly as Venus's charming effect allows you to work efficiently with others. As the moon makes its monthly visit to your career sector, a friendly aspect to planets in your income and work sector was always going to get the new working week off to a good start. However, what makes the timing auspicious is that it comes just as Venus, the planet of love is spending her first full day in your income sector, bringing you to the start of what can be the most lucrative weeks of any year. Your patience level could be low today. Honor your impatience with appropriate measures. Give yourself extra time to get to your appointments, and don't set yourself up for frustrating situations. When it comes to eating, Choose what you put into your body carefully. Be sure you like what you order or prepare, otherwise, you will not be relaxed and truly fulfilled by your meal. On another note it is best to hold your tongue if a dispute threatens to arise with a lover or friend. This day of rest won't be any more stable, any may even be a little turbulent for you. It's up to you to calm people down around you. Today's vibrations will push you to be a good listener and tolerant. If your sentimental or family relationships aren't clear, force yourself to shed some light on them calmly and serenely. What is left unsaid may come out as quick as lightning today. You will have to have great lucidity to get through this electric day. Just having the moon in your career sector as you moved into the new working week has been an advantage but as well as fueling your professional instincts and imagination this is creating a lot of positive energy across the income work and career fronts. In Venus' first full day in your work sector, a friendly aspect to the sun there can see the moon boost your confidence, just days before they are due to clash as a full moon later in the week. This is keeping you on your toes when it counts. Venus' departure from your romantic sector yesterday should have ended all planetary activity on the romantic front for the year but the dwarf planet series is staying on to keep the romantic flame burning. This is in a more low-key way but the more you can help her out the better, especially when it comes to maintaining a balance between work and play. Our eyes in the sky. The Capricorn moon has a rocky journey this morning, forming squares with Jupiter and Mercury. People are likely to be more self-absorbed than usual, and it might be difficult to find comfort when needed. The moon can bring deep thoughts to the forefront of the mind. Unfortunately, you aren't immune to this, and you might find your mind swimming in some gloomy waters. Jupiter only increases this. When Jupiter enters the mix, you could feel anxiety around your responsibilities and your ability to accomplish your goals. If you let it, self-doubt could get the better of you. The vibe is heavy, 
and we might find that the people we encounter are in bad moods as well. It will help to remember that we're all attempting to navigate this energy, so try to lead by example and be kind to others. Mercury can offer some relief if we can find a way to lean into our optimism, especially when it comes to dreams and fantasies. The moon trines Uranus this morning, putting us in touch with our individuality and need for personal freedom. Be sure to honor your truest and freest self. This energy allows you to grow and become the person you want to be. Trust the process as you transform and change with the lunar energy. As nightfall nears, the moon calms down, giving us plenty of energy to work toward our dreams. However, a square with Chiron could make it difficult for you to find balance, and you might have trouble falling asleep. Don't be afraid to give yourself a break. In the pre-dawn hours, the Capricorn moon trines Uranus in Taurus, provoking excitement. This electric influence arouses our interest in the serendipitous and strange. As many of us will be asleep at this hour, our dreams may be filled with inspirational ideas. We might even receive the blueprint for an innovative plan that we can put into practice upon waking. Many of the world's so-called geniuses have claimed to have obtained their most profound ideas through dreams. Tonight may offer us our own Eureka. Moment. Around dawn, Ceres opposes Saturn in Aquarius, making it difficult to offer or receive support. Ceres in Leo wishes to pamper and praise the inner child. It nurtures by bolstering our self-esteem. Saturn, on the other hand, is a stricter taskmaster. It is not the kind to hand out participation trophies. It wants us to work for our medals. As these two objects oppose, we become unsure of ourselves. Try to have practical expectations to avoid becoming disheartened. A balance must be struck between maturity and warmth. Allowing ourselves to be vulnerable will help us achieve an anchoring kind of inner strength. The moon's aspect with Neptune allows our hearts to be filled with warmth and pride, so don't be afraid to give and receive love over the next few weeks. The Pluto energy allows us to see people's true intentions, which could be disappointing or maddening. There could be some conflict. Trust your intuition so you can understand the true motives of others. The energy could threaten to throw off your chill vibe, so avoid petty gossip and try not to let mental chatter pull you away from a good thing. With all the day's frenetic energy, it would be a good idea to treat yourself to some delicious food and perhaps a nice bubble bath tonight.